I think I just found a rebel spy within the ISB. Okay, so I was looking through a whole bunch of different Andor TV spots and one scene in particular stood out to me and it's this scene with Luthen seemingly pretty agitated. The Empire has been choking us so slowly. The time has come to force their hand. Andor, I need all the heroes I can get. You can't beat them. <laughs> we need to pull together. At what cost? Everything! It is not entirely clear as to who he is talking to, but in another scene shown, we get glimpses of some hair and an ear. In this particular scene, Luthen says, you know, all the heroes I can get. Which clearly suggests that whoever he is talking to is a rebel operative. And we know that both shots are set in the same scene because of the unique background, a sort of dirty alleyway or some sort of place long abandoned. Clearly, wherever Luthen and this rebel operative are meeting, they don't want to be seen. But since I couldn't really decipher as to who this might be, I kinda let it pass. That is, until I saw another TV spot with a very short, interesting moment. Big stakes, big danger. If you got three days, permission. Let's get to it. From the creators of Rogue One and the director of the Bourne Legacy. The Empire never imagined that someone like me would get inside their house. They're everywhere. It's a new spy every day. So the official Star Wars account tweeted this TV spot, and in it, there was a very brief moment where we caught a glimpse of this guy. And his face might look somewhat familiar because the show has been giving this guy quite a bit of screen time, especially for a background character. And this is none other than Superintendent Young of the ISB. In episode 7, we got a brief conversation between him and Major Patergas regarding the planet Ord Mantel, and a close up to his reaction to Yularen's speech. And if you take a closer look at the TV spot scene, it's pretty undeniable that it is the same character. The biggest difference being that Young is not in his ISB uniform, but in a much more low key outfit intended to stay out of the radar. And judging by both his surroundings and outfit, he clearly doesn't want to be identified. On top of that, the color palette of the background clearly matches what we saw in other scenes. The greenish blackish hues clearly place this moment in the same scene as Luthen's interaction with this unknown person. And if you look at the clothing, it clearly bears a lot of similarity to what Young is wearing in this shot. So I'm pretty sure that Luthen is indeed talking to Young, and that Young is definitely a rebel operative feeding Luthen information from within the ISB. And if you stick the sequence of shots together, they kind of do make some sense, and they would probably roll like this. You know, all the heroes I can get. Everything. Every day. Now, of course, we don't get the full details of the conversation, but we can still get a sense of the direction it is headed towards. Clearly, Luthen is demanding something or providing instructions to Young the Rebel Operative. And if this is indeed the case, it would completely recontextualize all the other scenes we see Young in and one of the scenes we have with Luthen in Episode 7. In Episode 7, we get a moment where Luthen is listening to a radio, the very same radio he uses to get in contact with the rebel groups previously on Aldani. And on first viewing of this scene, I just interpreted this as Luthen listening to the general news on the radio to see where the news is reporting with regards to Aldani. It didn't really strike me as to how specific the details were. It talks about how much was stolen and how the rebels got away, the sort of forensic information that the ISB would have after learning about the heist. So taking the meeting between Luthen and Young into context, this particular scene could be a hint as to how and who is feeding Luthen information from within the ISB. And if Young is indeed the rebel spy within the ISB, it would mean that he is passing on information to Luthen via an encrypted channel. And we do know that the radio Luthen uses does have the encryption capability to avoid Imperial detection, which is how he is able to communicate with the rebels on Aldani in the first place. So if this is indeed Young feeding Luthen all this information, then it must be said that Young's reaction to Yularen's speech is just him paying close attention to the information given to him, which he will later pass on to Luthen. Which also explains how Luthen is able to stay one step ahead of the ISB, able to react and adapt before the ISB can get wind of his activity. It might also explain how he is able to get extensive detailed information to support operations like the one we see in Aldani. 
It would also recontextualize the scene when Pattergast absolutely drills Young about his governance over Ord Mantell. Three possible explanations for why you have failed to keep pace with your neighboring sectors. That's correct. Well, I'm correct. Your approval is heartening. Now we do know that Ord Mantell was a hub for rebels and criminals with groups like the Bat Batch operating on the planet. But now knowing that Young might be a rebel, he could be purposefully under surveilling the location in order to allow rebels to move about and conduct operations. It would line up to the reason why there are so many security concerns on Ord Mantell as the man tasked with cleaning up the system is a rebel himself. It would also intensify the race between the Empire and the Rebels as to who would find Cassian first. We do know that from another shot from the TV spot that the ISB will be looking for Cassian as we do get a shot with Cassian's hologram in the middle of the ISB meeting room. So if Young is indeed a mole, then he would be able to feed Luthen this information who would then be able to pass it on to Vel who has been tasked to assassinate Cassian. All this would really just raise the intensity and pace of the hunt, and I am so looking forward to it. And I am sure that at some point, the ISB will start to realize that the reason why the rebels are outmaneuvering them is simply because they have a spy among their ranks. Really just adds to the whole spy espionage theme of the show. I am sure Deidre is going to have a field day with trying to figure this one out. I have a feeling that we will get to see the reveal of him being a rebel really soon and it might be coming in the next episode. Anyways, that's all for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. I am the Lost Acolyte and I have spoken.